Hello, today we will go through a repo that uh, processes videos to make deepfakes very high quality and very easy to use. Um, you can use it in different ways. You can use it uh, as a stable diffusion but uh, plugin, but we will not do that today. I wanted to apologize for last time's audio, sorry. Uh, we'll try to improve on that. Um, so the first thing is to clone this uh, repo as usual then um, we need to so this is uh, cloned then you need to be on uh, python 3.10 so i created uh, an conda environment uh, python 3.10 i struggled with python uh, 3.11 so you create that environment um, using if i'm not wrong this so conda create uh, name uh, deepfake or whatever you want conda uh, then the, the python version you want then you it asks you a question you, you say yes then you uh, install a requirement using pip install minus r requirement because there is a requirements file there are uh, two of them uh, you let it install it takes a bit of time that's normal and as soon as this is done you can run it using python run.py don't forget to uh, activate your environment you should see it here after you you've uh, created it so usually uh, use conda uh, space activate space the name of your environment so when you run it you get this you can select the face uh, you can select the file so in this case I, I will choose this picture taken from a website so since it's free uh, I, I have to say where I took it from free pick and the uh, account is cookie studio so uh, th this picture of a woman and uh, a smart a small uh, part of a video from a uh, French uh, TV show so it's an mp4 and what this repo does it processes the whole video so it splits it into images then detects the faces uh, then um, replaces the face and then stitches everything back together so you can click on start and then it will start uh, working uh, of course uh, you can this is educational and you are not allowed to make uh, deep fakes to alter whatever I don't know what so uh, you should use it with great power comes great responsibilities uh, you can use parameters so you can use it in the command line for example you can say that you don't want a GUI uh, if you have multiple faces you can say many faces you can keep the temporary images that are processed etc uh, so I wanted to show you the result the end result let me get it here um, so here, he, here is the input so Alors, it's, it's comment ça it's quite challenging because uh, I on purpose took purposely took a video uh, of two men talking so it's not you see. Uh, so uh, usually it's because I'm doing multiple things but usually the, the video is not it's a 24 uh, FPS video and here you can see so this is the picture I'm trying to swap faces with and you can see that it does an, an incredible job as i told you the video is uh, very smooth just because i'm training something and recording and at the same time um, and even if you look at uh, 28 second you see he's touching his face and even that is being taken care of it's really impressive you, you can see that it, it's insane even the beard is being processed correctly I mean of course it's not perfect you can uh, when you look at some frames you can see that it's far from perfect 
even that I mean the, the quality of the video is not the best no. but still that's it I hope this was helpful and I hope the audio was uh, better this time <laughs>